Hello, hola, bonjour, hey, hey, y'all. Uh, my name is Merck. Welcome back to the Narc Alert. I'm distracted because this, this man is right here. Hi, I'm Merck, and this is the big ham who likes to steal the show. Now he's decided not even to let me have an intro. He's just coming to sit here now. There is a Rio cam. There's no Rio on the Rio cam. Because the ass is sitting right here in the way on top of the notes in front of the keyboard on my mouse, chewing on the headphones. Rio. I haven't even said hello to people. Uh, I Val and Ella, uh, uh, mostly Javi was first. Because Val and Ella are the mods. So, you know, they're ride or die loyal. Can you hear an echo? I'm hearing an echo from Rio's phone, Rio's cam. Let me know if it gets annoying. Oh, just... Now he's laying down on my notes. Maybe. Can you maybe sit over here so they can see... Get off my notes. Look what he does. Ass. Ass. Okay, move. Go, don't go. Come on, sit on your stool. The stool here. Sit on your dirty stool. Ass. He's just an ass. He's not helping. He's not helping anything. Jody, he's not helping a damn thing. He's helping chaos, is what he's helping. Jamie Lee, you can DM me in the Discord. Rio, please, seriously. Enough. Sorry, I can't. Like, I can't do anything when he's standing on top of every piece of equipment I need to run the live stream. It's adorable. And I love him. But I need him to just step back for one friggin' minute. Narcissist. Narcissist. I know I love you. You gonna clip that and show everybody Merck throwing the cat? Was I throwing the cat? I don't think I was throwing the cat. Thanks for the membership, somebody said. Did somebody gift members and I missed it already? No. Old members. Old gifties. Cats are rude, cats with guns. You're a rude. You're such a rude. You got your own damn camera. It's well lit, the perfect spot. You know, you know, I don't have to go. I know, I'm a cat thrower now. I'm an animal abuser. You better phone uh, animal control because Rio is clearly abused. Anyway, what do I want to tell you today? Happy, happy Wednesday, uh, European Union. Josh Gonzalez, exactly. Grayson would never do this. Grayson is a Crusader Actuals cat. Do you ever see him doing that? No. He knows his place. Grayson even hold, stands in, in Crusader's arms while Crusader does squats. He holds the cat. Okay, if that's not pandering, I don't know what is. But it's adorable. <laughs> Please, the man is in a pink tank top doing squats, holding an adorable cat. I know. No, sorry. You're the most adorable cat. I'm sorry. <sighs> I'm really sorry about this stream today. I, ask it off my book. I don't even have many notes on here and he's sitting on them. I wanted to say, if you're in the Discord... Uh, go in the Superstars thread because apparently the Merc... I know, I'm getting whipped with this tail. This tail? <laughs> well, if you don't want me to hold it, then maybe... Oh, he just doubled down and rolled on his side. Rio, come on, man, please. Look. You're such an ass. Wow, he's bad today. He's trying to show his butthole, Britt, but I'm keeping it off the camera. Can you... You're going to knock stuff over now. Sit on your stool, Lord. Oh, 
Okay, can I say something that's not about you? I'm going to. I don't care what you say. Uh, the kids in the Discord who do Merc's Angels, which is hilariously funny, has little to do with me. It's just my creative, funny community. Uh, they put out a few videos today because they're looking for people to join the team. Uh, you need no skills. You don't. You can even be anonymous and just leave a voice message. But they need people to... Uh, Rio Lynn Angelin is exactly it. He's out of control today. Watch. He's going to start biting my knee any minute. Uh, so, you know, go upload a video or a, a, a voice note or something. Jody says the less skills, the better. Um, it's just this funny, weird thing we're doing, they're doing in Superstars. It's like a takeoff on uh, Charlie's Angels, but it's Merc's Angels, and they get into little adventures. I edited, edited together an intro for them, but so the more stuff that comes up, the more content you guys produce, I'll edit it into episodes. If you don't, I will. So that's Merc's Angel. So go join the team. Uh, thank you. Jody wants to make sure to congratulate me on my crack. If you didn't watch the Eugenia Cooney video, you guys probably all did because you're my ride or dies, but no one else is watching it. <laughs> um, I asked people to congratulate me on how I crack an egg. Egg. Because it's quite stunning. <laughs> Stupid. Stupid. Um... Tomato Jam is at the dentist and forgot her headphones. So she can't hear me. I wish I had a tomato handy to hold up to signal her. <clears throat> at the dentist again? Girl's been at the dentist all week. Thank you guys. You're all now congratulating me on the crack. It, you know? probably cracked more than a million eggs in my in my life to be honest easily easily i've made more than a million shortbread cookies it's crazy when you think of that cats with guns says i think rio just wants to lead the show rio thinks he is the show and i told him that quite frankly people actually want to hear a little bit about amberlyn reed too and he doesn't speak english it's very hard for him to be a reaction channel then he gets all fancy and he goes, look, I can use the mouse. I don't need a thumb. And I go, yeah, that's fine, but you can't talk. So something's missing. It's not very transformative. If you can't speak, you'll get demonetized. So that's what, that's the deal with Jody. I'm Jody. I was reading Jody. I mean, Rio, they're both troublemakers. I get them confused. Just the mess is four months alert. Give Rio a treat for me. All right. This is going to cause havoc. This. Look at the little blue eyes peering up around the corner of the stream. Cat translator. I have a cat translator app on my phone. It's really funny. Mostly he says, I love you. I'm guessing most of them do. All right. So today our cat treat is a creamy cat. It. And this one is, 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 is tuna. Would you like a tuna snack? You got to come up here. And then we're going to get to Amber. And uh, we got some interesting stuff to talk about today. Riri. Riri. Hello. I told you he's not highly food motivated. Oh, oh, Hello. Oh, well, that smells good. All right, here we go. It's treat time. You don't want it? No, cats love this. You love this. God, this stuff stinks. <laughs> this is uh, top-notch content, you guys. Watching Rio eat a cat it. Hang on, let me twist this up. Do you want more? Oh, he's liking this one. The last one, he kind of gave up on it halfway. 
Hope you're okay. Okay. So, I sh yesterday, I'll wait till the helicopter passes. It's a low when it's loud. <laughs> Stinks. Finish it off. It's stinky. Oh, you dripped. Okay, so yesterday. Now, we don't know if it's true or not, but people seem to think, and pretty much seems like. As you know, Amber's gone kind of dark. Sorry, I'm distracted. Okay, cat it is finished. Lick this side and clean up the messy bit. Such a good man. Such a good man. Will you behave now? Okay, and now he's going to go lay on the couch because he's had his treat. He's destroyed the stream. He's done his job. Okay, now we can focus. As you most of you know, Mr. Snowflake is on a one-man mission right now. Not really one man, because we're going to help him. Uh, he just really wants to expose all her lies. He's on a mission right now to expose a whole bunch of Amber stuff. So as you know, he's been releasing pretty much daily videos reading out her old Ask FM, her old social media stuff. And it's been a scandalous, quite frankly. Um, so between that and Destiny, our Lil Amber, Lil Bambi seems to have gone into the woods. Bambi's lost in the woods and can't find her way back to YouTube. She hasn't uploaded in like four or five days. We don't know what she's doing. Now, we think she's, uh, you know... Speculation is, she's be scared. I, I was just talking to Snowflake and I said, yeah, I think you really have her on the run because listen, the Destiny stuff, she was on IG defending that. This stuff, she hasn't even spoken to. She just went dark, right? So, and one of the things I noticed from watching a lot of stuff recently, especially the video I did last night, a lot of the research I did in that one, is I noticed that truly one of the things that really pisses her off more than anything else is being called a liar. Like, that one really gets under her skin. So maybe, you know, she's not doing too well right now, and she doesn't have anything to say. But, you know, Lil Bambi, Lil Bambi doesn't like to not have attention. Bambi needs her fuel. So uh, the speculation is that she was allegedly all over Reddit yesterday. Reddit a platform that she isn't usually on to our knowledge, uh, under a sock account name, I forget what it is, but we'll see it in a minute, responding uh, to things that were being posted on the Reddit R and Babies thread. Jamie Lee, welcome to the family. Jamie's so alert now, she can't wait to see hear the Reddit stuff. Now, I think a lot of you prob probably, see, I was going to say, a lot of you might have missed this. Garlic bread and farts says, what is Reddit? It's like a, how do you describe, somebody will describe Reddit. It's like a text-based conversation forum, I guess. Thank you, Jody. I Dream in Colors was the name. And Ella reminds us it's likely not proven it's her. Could be just a troll. But it is more fun to think it is Amber. And I'm telling you, it sure sound like her. So, uh, because I thought a lot of you might have missed it, I thought it might be fun to look at it. Look at her ridiculous answers posing as a... We're going to go with that it was her. We're going to assume that allegedly it was her. We're not spreading the rumor that it was her. It might not have been her, but let's look at it as if it was her. Because that seems to be the... Um, what? Feeling? I don't know the word I'm looking for. I can't think of it because I'm looking to post this thing. Altered Perspective had a very good thought that Reddit account was created yesterday and deleted yesterday. So she hasn't been on her Instagram. She hasn't been on her YouTube. She has to have some satisfaction. 
she can't get no satisfaction. Um, I'm just catching up with your chat here. Savannah says, I don't think she lied. She's getting thrown under the bus by her ex and she's trying to give her side of the story. Yeah, that's not what any of this Reddit stuff is about. This Reddit stuff is completely separate to, um, really to the Destiny stuff. You guys know all the tea. Jody says there was 20 posts in an hour. Let me read some of this stuff. Shan says there was three sock accounts in a row, but the I Dream in Colors was the one she had about two hours of conversations running. That's the one I have the clips from. Consensus, gracefully, Mary, thank you. Consensus was exactly the word I was looking for. Kathleen says, I feel like a troll wouldn't have deleted it the same day. Just my opinion. Kathleen knows. Sophia says she's been giving her side forever. Jay says she has years of videos that hurt are her side of the story. Absolutely. Yeah, she's got a huge platform where she tells her side of the story. Destiny doesn't have as many people. Yeah, 20 in an hour. Thornback says 20 in an hour. That's way too many, even for heavy Redditors. 20 in an hour. That's like one post every three minutes. Twenty total comments, not posts. You guys know all of the deets. You guys are crazy. You be crazy, people. But that's why we love each other. The cheesy usernames add uh, add up. Ella says, "Remember when her saying bad things about Becky was sharing her story." But when Destiny does it, she's a cheating liar only looking for money. Yeah, sadly, Amber's behavior doesn't give her a lot of, <clears throat> excuse me, credibility for that kind of comeback. Well, let me find those posts then because, you know, a professional YouTuber would have had them all pulled up for you already. But sadly... I think this is how it, where it starts. You'll be, if, if you happen to see my desktop, you'll be very proud of me. I've cleaned it up. But I think I can just share this little, oh, look at the little man. But of course he's not in the right spot. Let me just adjust the camera of the man, the man cam. All right, that's good enough. Good enough. It's the croissant cam. No kidding, Jess the mess. He knows. I guess he realized that the faster he disrupts the stream, the sooner he gets his chat, his, his uh, treat. <laughs> Look at him. He's so sweet, though. All right, let's see how we can share this. Share screen. Window? Yeah, that's what we're going to do. Then there you go. But I think it's good. Where's Rio? We Rio will have to stand aside for now. But we're gonna we'll do it this way so you can see it. Um, so it starts out like this. 
I'm not sure what she was responding to here, but she says, lots of people get DoorDash. What's the big deal? Oh, wait, it's because of her size. People of all sizes get DoorDash or takeout when they're hungry and want a quick bite to eat. And somebody responded, you're absolutely right, Pookie. You are so much smarter and thoughtful than I could ever be. I guess all of this hate comes from the fact that I'm not an empath. Thank you very much, Ella, for reminding me that I can zoom in. You guys are the best. But can I do that? Oh, look at that. How good is that now? And then we can do some suspense with the answers. Perfect. Now, how do I get to the next one? Do I have to go back to the regular size to get to the next one? Come on. <laughs> And the, why can't, why won't this work? This is being an ass. Am I do, on the keyboard? Really? I'm terrible with keyboard shortcuts. What, the arrow key? No. The arrow will go up and down, but it won't go. What if I put it down to normal to 100%? No, no. Why can't I do a slideshow? You used to be able to do slideshows with this stupid thing. Someone says it's a troll, it's not Amber. Apparently it's a troll, not Amber. Well, they did a really good job and we're going to, you know, we're going to be amused at their work. Even if it's a, in a cumbersome, friggin' awkward way. Can I, what about if I do it like this? Can I open all of these at once? Edit, print. Why is there no... Okay, open. Sorry. Guys, I'm really sorry. I'm being a big dum-dum. I think I got it. I think I got it. <sighs> Thank you for the patience. Trollin has entered the chat. Sorry, can I catch up here? Did I miss something? Okay, sorry, Thornback, thank you. You threw me off for a minute. Oh, look, I got it now, look. Okay, Amber's vlog, man, we can zoom in. Uh, we're getting it, eventually we'll get it. Amber's vlogs are essentially what my 600-pound life would be if the person got to control what was shown. They all have the same life, no social interaction, and a life primarily centered around food, where what they're going to be eating next, the rituals and eating itself... They also lead very boring lives because they're trapped inside their house and for the most part, and trapped inside their body. The only difference is Amber gets to control the narrative. The sad thing is if she was more honest about her struggles and talked about shit like this, it could be interesting and win people over to her side, assuming they don't know about her actual shitty behavior. But her ego won't let her do that. And this person... I dream in colors. Response is, oh, geez, this is weird. Ha ha. Goodness gracious. Great balls of fire already. Yikes on bikes. Do something better. It sounded like yikes on bikes, right? Okay. She made a bunch of, uh, this is some of her posts. I believe Pookie knows about this sub. Her response is, how would you know that's her? You simply don't, which is true. Aaron, thank you very much for the super chat. Aaron would like to remind everybody that, oh my God, I'm homophobic. <laughs> Aaron is a member for six months. 
Um, I believe Pookie knows about this sub and her response is obsessed. Ha ha ha. This comment though, mental health isn't a joke. I feel sorry for Amber a little bit. Talk is cheap through Reddit. Oh my God. She's even angry to the people that were nice to her. Homophobia, Horn Thornback says, the day before Pride Month. I know. I know. It's weird. It's going to be uncomfortable being, you know, newly homophobic at the Pride Parade. I don't know where I fit in there anymore. It's weird. I feel sorry uh, for Amber a little bit. How how'd you smell her through the YouTube channel? LOL, you don't even know her. I feel sorry for Amber a little bit. She says, how would you know what she smells like? You don't even know her. Creepy, LOL. Okay. Oops. Oh my God, I'm sorry, you guys, Zoomies. I don't get it. She says, this post isn't deleted, Pookie, or somebody said. Oh, so this is her comments now rather than responses? I find it interesting. I don't know who's the answering here. I don't know who's answering and who's commenting. These are her comments, yeah? The other, su yeah, this shows her other subreddit. Co oh, because she was in other su subreddits trying to appear like a, not a sock account. Floridians are prepared. Sounds good. Look for the big penis logo, LOL. Why would she even... I'm not saying anything. Boulderback whale for you slash the icon of sin MK2 in the draw for me subreddit. She responds that beautiful art in our am babies. Someone said, I believe Pookie knows about the sub. And that's when she said, how would you know that's not her? Okay. Those ones we've seen. I find it interesting is the thread title you boomer. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm Gen X. I'm actually in this weird void of nothingness in between Gen X and Boomer. So I'm not supposed to know these things. You know, somebody was really funny though, because I said, I, you know, the, that GIF word? I'm sorry. It doesn't matter how you pronounce it. If I say GIF, people say it's GIF. If I say GIF, People say it's Jif. So get off your high horse about the pronunciation of that particular word. And then somebody commented to me, why don't you just say Jeff and really piss everybody off? So from now on, boomers calling those things Jeffs. You know that funny, um, Jody posts this one that makes me pee my pants still every time I see it. And it's, um, what's his name, Jody? Holding the two pigeons. <laughs> I can't. I can't. <laughs> now, kiss. And it zooms in and out. Thank you. You all know it. I can't. It just slays me every friggin' time. That's a really funny Jeff. Boomer that. Yeah, no, I don't know Reddit. I don't spend any time. Since there was a hate thread about me on Reddit before the other thread got nuked, I don't go on Reddit, except to maybe, um, what do I do on Reddit? I look for reviews of strains of legal strains of marijuana. That's the only thing I use Reddit for. But I can't. <laughs> I can't understand it. So this one I actually cut. See, there is no... Where are we here? There was a picture with this uh, Amber Sock accounts be like. There was a Jeff that went along with that. Um, <laughs> that you can't see in this particular, but they're all responding to, to that one. She says, you're pathetic. Most important lies exposed during Destiny's Live. And I guess there's another missing photo or Jeff 
there. And she says, feline is black and you don't even know her. Does she know how to spell her girlfriend's nickname? Joff. I'm going to call them Joffreys. <laughs> they are now called Joffreys. Um. <laughs> That's funny. Oh, by the way, Pineapple Paradise, if you want to know why we're chaotic. Most important lies. Oh, the girl you called Dusty, LOL. Now you want to love bomb her, but not that long ago she was Dusty. Uh, and then she says, that's really pathetic to assume. Most important lies. This is absolutely ludicrous. No, ludicrous. This is absolutely ludicrous. Most important lies. Because Destiny's lying point blank. She claims... She stinks, but slept with her? Pfft, doesn't make sense, so. What did Thornback say? Thornback? Everybody's yelling at Thornback. I need to find out why. Joff. Joff. Ludicrous. <laughs> Ludicrout. Yeah, two things can be... Yeah, that's coming up to me. Yeah, that's coming up. Um, a new video from Lightly Toasted Destiny will come sometime this week. Also promised more lives. Oh, good. I think we might look at... After this, we might look at the apathetic facts. Did a... 12 minute recap of that live. I think that's enough. Um, Lil Hood Rat says, I'm shook. I'm sure Feline was a communist Russian spy. And I Dream in Colors says, Feline is black and you don't even know her. Bye bye. Yeah, she uses honey more than once. Clearly, you don't even know her bye-bye. They respond, is that pineapple paradise? No, it's pineal <laughs> pineapples. Clearly, you do. Do you? Fleen, I loved this. I felt so represented. You guys, we made it work. Fleen. Look, it says it right here. They're using our name, Fleen. Fleen is a really dumbass name, and nobody... But you calls her that. Aren't we? Well, we. I know I used to call her Jade, but I can't stop calling her Fleen now because she's Fleen. And now Reddit's calling her Fleen. I love that. We started more stuff in the, in the, I don't know where the thread is, Tomato Jam. Here's the original post for that where everybody was commenting. Amber's sock accounts be like, how do you do, fellow haters? <laughs> Pessimist Bastard says, yes, the help really has a broad job description. Asswiper, dog walker, Reddit comment curator. She's working hard for those sneakers. And I Dream in Color, of course, responds, your job is sitting on Reddit making fun. Sorry, I can't make this go up. Work. Sitting on Reddit making fun of an overweight woman with a mental illness. Good job. I think that's the last one. And that is the last one. That brings Amber's, um, well, Amber or a troll or an impersonator or a sock account, whatever, whoever that was, Amber or an Amber impersonator, I did miss one where somebody said you called me honey twice because she called somebody honey in her answer. And, you know, that sounds like her, too. I know a single mental, a single mental issue. How's Reddit their job, Mr. Muckberry asks? I, we don't know.
Oh, sure, Ella, send me that link. That would be better. I just want... That's what I want is just the facts, man. I was going to do it myself. But I... I, I, I couldn't. <laughs> I couldn't. I couldn't plow through an hour and a half of that, to be honest. I, I did something else. What did I do? Well, I did the live liar video. Hey, thank you guys so much. The liar video uh, that I did from last night is my best performing video in like a month easily. Thank you, Ella, for that link. So this is a little tiny channel that I was sharing with us. Let me just pause it. Let me just, where are you? Where'd you go? Oh, you're over here. Now I got to put you back over here. So many windows, so little time. And now we have to put this small. I'm sorry, this is a disaster. Now I've lost the other chat. Gotta put that up. Okay, we're back. Hi. Hi, we're back. I'm back. So... Do you want to look at this? Oh, look, we can do a yes or no instead of a poll. Oh, start a Q&A. Engage with your audience. Start a Q&A. Answer viewer questions live. Did you guys know that was part of YouTube's thing? I don't think I've ever seen that before. That's weird. Well, first we'll do a poll and then we'll we'll play with that. Not that I care to answer questions necessarily because I don't think that I'm that interesting, but I like the feature. Sounds fun. Alora Smith is a member for two months and says, I'm so grateful to have you in this community. Alora, we're really grateful to have you. Every single one of you guys makes this community the friggin' amazing place it is. And you know what? Every week it gets better. And I'm so happy <laughs> that wasn't that wasn't very deep but that's whatever it's cool i love seeing the community grow and friendships and bonds and people coming into their own and doing their own thing independent of me but just this community is becoming a living breathing organism all of its own and it's so friggin cool to see because everybody's like fun and dumb and <laughs> weird and not weird and smart and funny it's just and all the good words should we watch a recap of Destiny's live stream where she calls Merc the other one? There's a lot of Jody in the live stream. I think there was a lot of alerts in there. A lot of alerts in there trying to stir the pot. Some of them like doing that. They're pot stirrers. It's okay. It's kind of part of the fun, right? Oh, it's a resounding winning right away, a big lead. Tomato Jam worked hard in there too. You're right. Just the mess says they were there. Michael Williams says we love pot and also he loves men, in case you forgot. All right, I don't have to. We're, we don't have to wait. This looks like a resounding. It's so weird that it doesn't show the whole. Oh, there it is, eighty-four percent, hundred and two votes. Close enough to rock and roll, to end the poll and say, let's watch this little recap. And we like this view. We have to add this. We have to add him. Add him. Where is he? That's the view we like with the boy. Mr. Man. All right. This is a small channel called... <laughs> called Destiny. No, it's not. It's called Malarkey Meter. Archiving the Antics. Well, that's a really interesting name for a channel. Hmm? Oh, 
Okay, let's watch. Oh, let's put headphones in so we can hear. This is called Malarkey Meter, archiving the antics. Destiny spills more tea on Amberlynn Reed, and this is a 12 and a half minute recap of the live stream. Let's go. On the evening of May 29th, Destiny and Lexus and their two adorable dogs went live for an hour and a half. I will link the full live on Destiny's channel below. I've clipped the parts that were specifically about ALR. Well, you are doing the Lord's work. Thank you so much. She had a few things, including that she's not a good person, that she's cray-cray, and that she's not fully lesbian. She also confirms that Jade has been the one person, not two. Hey. No, too fast. Hi. <laughs> yeah, this isn't... What are you drinking? <laughs> Tea. <laughs> I'm here to answer your questions. Do I think Amber Lynn is watching? She could be. I mean, that's her business, not mine. Are you going to collab with Becky? Becky doesn't want to do it right now. Leave Becky I alone. I've talked a little bit to Becky, but not much. She does her own thing. Did Amber ever hit you, throw stuff at you? I told y'all she threw the code red Mountain Dew at me. Not at me, at my car. Was there ever any drama with Amber and her roommates when you were hanging around her as a friend? I didn't see any drama between her and Eric and Ricky, if that's what y'all are wanting to know. I don't know who Amber Lynn's girlfriend is. Yeah, this is exactly what I was going to do, Ella. It saves me all the work. Amber Lynn did not buy my car for me. My dad did. <laughs> you should send Amber Lynn cake pops. She'd get so offended. She'd get offended, but then eat. <laughs> <laughs> what was your cringiest pookie experience? Um, I'd say watching her get her ass beat by my mom. <laughs> the thing with my mom asking Amber Lynn to move in with her, I will go into more detail about that when it comes. I don't, I don't really watch Zachary Michael too much, but me and him have messaged here and there. Have you ever thought Amber was the one in white? No. And because no. What do you think about Pookie? I don't... <laughs> I have no opinions. Did the binge monster exist? Yes, I'll tell you that. Yes. Are you? She doesn't tell us enough. This is quick, so let's take a pause and let some of the stuff sink in. Is this too quiet, you guys? It's very quiet. Is it too quiet? I wasn't even looking at the chat. I don't think Destiny... Bacon says, I don't think Destiny comes off rude at all. I don't either. She's just a very no-nonsense. Josh says, Becky is too passive to do a rebuttal. She wants to leave those dark... I, I hope so. I've said it before. I'll say it again. I'm telling you. If I could get away from my narc, I would not revisit it a year later after I'd healed from all the fucking abuse. You don't even want to think about it. Like, you just don't. It's not worth money. Some things in life aren't worth money. It's not that much money. Space Legs, thank you for the super chat. Space Legs says, thank you for brightening my slow workday, Merc. Thank you for working when some of us are just lazy assholes. <laughs> and by some of us, I mean me and Rio, because, you know, and I don't mean that. I'm just being mouthy. Jamie says it's been two, almost two years. I know. I don't think she should bother. I don't. I mean, God, would I love to hear it? Of course I would. But I hope she never does. For her own sake. Thank you, freckled unicorn. What did Karina just send me here? Okay, Karina just sent me some screenshots. Sorry, I zoned out for a second there because Karina just sent me some screenshots that are another username called Linen and Honey. Karina says, I sent the screenshots of her second account after the first was deleted. All right, well, let's have a look at this for a second then. So this is the uh, after the that first account we were looking at. 
after it was deleted. And this I cannot, can I? No, I can't be. Oh, but I can open in browser. Sorry. I did it wrong. I did it wrong. Give me one second here. Hang on. That's it. All right, there we go. Creamy cheeses is a shimmer to an outlet. Ha, huh, I love it. Thanks for the giggle, girl. LMAO, not another burner account. Girl, please. And Linen and Honey responds, Oh, let's, sorry, let's make that bigger. I'm so sorry. Oh, let's do that. Linen and Honey responds, Oh, can you hear me? Probably not. Sorry. It's so hard to believe Amber has fans. She's a lovable, kind-hearted person. Why wouldn't she? This has to be a parody account of the last band one. There's no way. Like, people can't even, like, really, girl, are you this stupid? OMG, you're kidding, right? This is sarcasm. Oh, that's cool. Look at that. I wish I could just... There's no way to seamlessly... Uh... So cumbersome, son. <sighs> ALR's been MIA since before Dust Bowl's live last night, and supposedly her mental health is thriving th thanks to Zoloft and her new therapist. So what could have... Her gone from the internet for a few days. Mayhaps the wipester finally fled? Remember, one of the last times she went MIA was when Becky broke up with her radio silence until she posted a YouTube status. Something like, the worst thing that could have ever happened to me happened. Linen and Honey responds, You're so pathetic, Amber in the chat. She's not in our chat, she's blocked. Well, I guess she could be under her one of her sock accounts. You're so pathetic, you have nothing better to do than sit on Reddit and speculate on someone else's life, lol, sad, while Amber and Feline, oh, spelled right this time, are having a beautiful relationship together, taking time to love each other. You're doing this. Love that for you. Bob, thank you so much for the super chat. Bob says, Merck has been there for me, especially in really crappy times. Oh, thank you, Bob. I've made friends in Discord. I've become especially close to, and I'm grateful to have my corner and vice versa. Thank you and you guys for it all. Thank you for the super chat and especially thank you for the kind words, Bob. It's been always my pleasure. And I'm going to just take that down because it's big and we need to see this ridiculousness. Uh, not another burner account, LMA. Goral, please. And there's one more to show you. Uno momento, por favor. One more to show you. Didn't we see this one? Oh, we saw this one. I opened the wrong one. This is cumbersome, and I apologize. I keep going to open Discord when I'm trying to hit StreamYards. Guys, 
Sorry, it's the pineapple paradise. It'll get me every time. Sea Dog, thank you for the super chat. Sea Dog says, My narc is sick right now and complaining up a storm, holding on to sanity. Oh my God. I'm so sorry, Sea Dog. Good luck with that. I'm going to try the 17th time to share this screen. Okay, bada boom. There we go. So this one just says, it's just a picture, just a picture, you know. Comparing a woman to a gorilla, your fat phobia is showing love. So that was, uh, that was Amber all day yesterday. You know, she was doing her thing. Doing her little Amber thing. Haramber. Haramber. Vanessa. I said that before. As I was saying it, I was understanding what it was. I would, if that was in Discord, I would star that comment because that's funny. I don't compare her to a gorilla. Gorillas weigh exactly what they're supposed to weigh. No, you can't compare it to animals. Animals are not five times the mass that they're supposed to be. They're all even big animals. They're exactly the right size for the species. Amber is not the right size for her species. <laughs> In my opinion. So let's go back and see what else De Destiny has to say here. Okay. Are you in therapy? No. I think I'm about to be though. <laughs> no, Amberlynn is not allergic to eggs. Not that I, not not when we were together at least. Favorite reaction channel, Karina Kaboom. <laughs> what made you start telling all this stuff about Amberlynn? It's just a healing process. I did Mario because that's what Does I call Amber her in my head. Like a seafood <laughs> <You> oil. <laughs> Why did you film? Did she film you on the toilet? Ask her, man. I don't know. If Amberlynn's watching this right now, what would I say? What's up, homie? What's the leaky leg story? Legs stuck in the bed? I don't know. Like when me and her were together, she didn't have all of what's going on going on. No, that's what I've often said too. Is the, the the holder of the flaming hot tea is Becky. Becky knows the very worst, the very darkest moments. But it's also Becky that I don't want to ever come and have to tell us. Everyone comes around trying to get your attention after the breakup example, the teddy bear incident. It was weird having Amber Lynn around a lot when I was trying to do stuff. Did she wear those leggings? Okay, I'm going to stand up for Amber for a second here because it was weird having her around when you were trying to do stuff with Dana. Well, you invited her. She didn't have the car. You had to go get her and bring her with you. You, you know, duh. She wore these pants from Walmart. She had like a hundred pairs of them. Did Amber Lynn snore? Yes. I have talked to Becky a couple of times. What's the best Amber Lynn tea you can think of? We need juice. Love you. You're a gem. Thank you. Um, that's love. The love of God and all things holy. She did stink. How about that? Um, I don't know what she smelled like. Surely. Y'all have been in a situation where you have been around a bigger person and could smell their swamp ass. I, <laughs> I cannot say that I have ever had that experience. Ever. Hello, Otis. How you doing? Um... <clears throat> That's unpleasant. I, I've never had that experience. But I just wanted to note that how uncomfortable Lexus looks. Like She's new to all of this. She doesn't know anything much about Amber or the Amberverse or any of it. She doesn't watch YouTube that much. And she kind of looks horrified. She's probably horrified that Destiny is doing this because she, I don't think she gets it. She probably will get it. No time at all.
Oh, Jay, that's really good. <gasps> yes. Jay says, I don't want Becky to speak out, but I'd love Eric and Ricky to. I'm sure they have the same tea. <gasps> that's genius, Jay. That's genius. How do we make that happen? Let's work on that. That's freaking genius. Ricky. <laughs> I need to talk to... Could I interview Ricky? Can you imagine the views that I would get on a video if I interviewed Ricky? He's not going to do anything like that, though. Marta MO218... Or it could be Marta MO218. Thank you very much for the super chat. It's Pride Month, Eric and Ricky. If you can't be messy now, when can you be? Girl. I'm not describing Ricky would be detail. fun. I don't know how. <laughs> I'll invite them to Pride Toronto Pride and I'll let them stay here for free. Cat Lou says saw on the Mr. Snowflake Discord he's gonna be reaching out to Baxter. Yeah, uh, I wouldn't. I, I, you know, I heart Mr. Snowflake deeply. <laughs> it's deep and it's real. Um, but as somebody who is the victim of a narcissist, I wouldn't, I'd let her be. She knows the door is open anytime with any channel, anytime on YouTube. God but Ricky? I might have been intimate with her, but y'all don't need to know the details of that. That is not something I will be sharing. Good I don't girl. know anything about Amberlynn's new person that she is with. Did you ever tell her she stinks and did that mess with your attraction? I mean, she was showering pretty regularly when we were together, except for that time when I said that she didn't shower. Did she embarrass you off in a public house? So, I mean, it was kind of like, should I make a leave Becky alone short? Like the leave Brittany alone short, but do Becky. <laughs> I'd be funny short, yeah. It was kind of embarrassing. Like when you, like I'm embarrassed to even vlog myself, but like when she would just start vlogging without forewarning, you know, it was yeah a little embarrassing for her to ask something about. There's like people around. No, I don't talk to Eric and Ricky. She did not make me pawn my game system to go out to eat. I had a Super Nintendo and I didn't need it anymore. As Amberlynn asked me not to expose her, I shared the message with y'all. Did Amberlynn feed you lines for some of the videos? No. Everything that I have said has come from me. Sorry, great. Why do you get engaged to everyone you date? If you don't remember, <laughs> I did not get engaged to Amberlynn. <laughs> regrets. Do you think Amberlynn is a truly a lesbian? No. I did see some of what Becky said about Amberlynn, like, I guess having attractions to men. And I noticed that she's been with guys before. So, no. Does Amberlynn... She was real fast with that answer. You know, nobody can judge anybody else's sexuality. I'm going to say that. I will even go so far as to say she can be a lesbian and have, and have had sex with men. That doesn't mean that she isn't a lesbian. I mean, she's a lesbian who happened to have sex with a guy. Just like all the suburban housewives who got drunk and had sex with their their girlfriends. There weren't, doesn't make them a lesbian. But, kind of tend to agree. I kind of, I you know, I don't, I don't like conjecturing on that. She could be gay. She could be just uh, goes with whoever loves her. We don't know. We can't say that for sure. I don't like those kind of boundary box, you know, who you make squishy noises with and who you're attracted to. That's nobody's business, really. I use money to people or situations. Yeah, she does. Everyone likes to pay for things for you or give you money Sorry, randomly and then grapes. hold it over your head later. I didn't. I don't know why I stopped talking to Amberlynn. We just kind of had a falling out. I don't know if Amberlynn faked her accent. She has multiple events she is a control freak i don't know what happened at ricky's 
Eric and Ricky's that, that night that y'all say we got drunk and something happened. I was passed out, man. I don't know what happened. Oh, you know yeah, something? that night. Something happened that night, right? <laughs> Lisa. <laughs> I know. Some people love that sound, that expression. Most people hate it. <laughs> Lunacat says ALR tried to stop Crystal from saying that Crystal was by as she was with. Yes, I did see that, Mr. Snowflake, um, in a Mr. Snowflake video where uh, Amber was upset because Crystal kept saying she was by, and Amber thought that because Crystal was with her, that she should just admit that she's now a lesbian. Sorry, doesn't work that way, Amber. Doesn't work that way. Quite frankly, I think I could have a relationship with a woman. And I would still consider myself straight. Sorry, I'm heterosexual. I'm not gay. That doesn't mean I can't be with a woman. People are weird. All of oh, I'm going to get called a homophobe again. Awesome. <laughs> awesome. We're going roaring into Pride Month, aren't we? <laughs> God. She does have multiple personalities. She's cray cray. I did call her money bags. Because she likes to throw it in your face and then hold it over your head. I don't know. I doubt I bet she, she does, surgery, right? honestly. Do you ever think she'll be skinny? No. I do still talk to Becky. Maybe next time we go live, I'll call Becky. I just have to ask her permission, obviously. Me and Becky did talk about our experiences a lot when they were together, even. We and her would get to doing something. Like, we would be sent out to do stuff together. I don't know. Like, me and her had some alone time, and we would definitely talk about stuff, that's for sure. <laughs> How do you feel about her drunk live stream after y'all's breakup? Um, we loved it. That was annoying. We loved it. Sorry, Destiny. We loved that. I don't that. know if her new person is using her. I don't know her. I called her money bags because I was mad at her. Amberlynn does not have diabetes that I'm aware of. Amberlynn never tried to cheat on Becky with Bob Smith says, Narc Alert, I was going to call you my favorite homophobe in my super chat, but I ran out of characters. <laughs> well, thank you. I'm, I, it's nice to know I'm your favorite homophobe. Again, Pride is going to be very confusing for me this year. You'll have to keep reminding me about that because I can't, you know. With me. I decided to tell my story as a healing process. How do you feel about Dana being pregnant? Kudos to her, man. I don't know. I'm not going to say any more about it. I did see Amberlynn's legs. Yeah, Ooh. They, they live together. I don't regret anything. Of course she's I did not legs. ever have to wife Amberlynn. I don't know what happened. I don't know if it was us breaking up, whatever happened. But Amberlynn was very down. Is that Josh Gonzalez says... Does anyone else love the fact that Destiny wants to get married on Friday the 13th, just like how she dumped Amber on... Uh, if that's true, that is beautiful poetry. I didn't know that. I didn't know that. That's good, though. Oh, Bambi will hate that. I didn't deal with any of what Becky had to deal with. I don't think Amberlynn's going to get the weight loss surgery. I think she's too much of a wiener. I'm sure Amberlynn is <laughs> in the chat. Apathetic facts is in the chat. What up, homie? Amber might sue you for detriment. Go for it, homie. Do you watch Jessica Messica? No. Did your mom want you to break up with Hard. her? My mom did want me to do that a couple times we never talked about it i'm glad you Bet. finally are sharing your story it never sat right with me i'm glad i'm sharing it too amber lynn did smell for my goodness like yes yes amber lynn really did make me sleep in the bed with her after we broke up do i think amber lynn is a bad person i think she tries to be a good person but her selfishness and attitude kind of gets in the way i don't watch food translated she's a narcissist and you know like i've said before it's a disease just like any other disorder is but we don't give them any breaks and i don't know why and that's okay because i'm a victim of one too but i don't think they really want to be that way like sometimes my narc shows me little glimpses of a normal kind normal mother they're very rare though 
I don't think she wants to be that way, but I don't think she can change it because it's a disorder. And I would say the same for that one. For the big glass. I only know what little bit Karina Kaboom says about her. That's not even a lot because I only watch her when I'm in them. Listen, I don't know a whole lot about These grapes are the person sad. that Amber Lynn is with now, but I will tell y'all one thing. I was going to wait for a video for this. Oh. Drum roll. Non tea. This is all I know is that it has not been two people she has dated that's been the same person. That's all I know. And I got that. That's so boring that I kind of even forgot that she was trying to make it seem like it was two people because it was so clearly not. I know, Thornback, we've been new. From a good source. Becky. Someone asked if Amber Lynn and my mom got close after we broke up. Not initially right after we broke up, but my mom did go and see her and do stuff with her occasionally. Wow. And wow. my mom just tried to be there for her because she didn't have anybody, essentially. Was Amber really as horrible to Becky as the reaction she had? I personally talked. So Destiny's mom clearly was a pretty big-hearted person. I mean, we all know that Destiny's had said she's an alcoholic, so she had some issues that caused problems. But clearly, at the core, she must have been a pretty good person if after all of that, she still tried to be there for this sad, lonely girl who had nobody else. That's pretty kind. Uh, her before, and she's the sweetest. I don't know what happened behind closed doors with her, but... When her and Becky would be bickering, I would take Becky's side and it would make Amber Lynn mad, but I didn't care. Because I've been in Becky's position myself. Yes, free Becky. <laughs> I'd say Becky is happier without Amber Lynn, honestly. Yeah, I would hope so. I wish Becky would collab, but she is doing her own thing right now. I'm sure she is taking her time to heal. Free <laughs> Becky alone! Come on, come on. <laughs> Tell us <laughs> why your girlfriend is a better partner than your exes. She is the best person I've probably ever been with. That's such a non-answer. Um, and that's mostly because I guess I was attracted to a lot of controlling people. Um, not that Dana was controlling, but she has a lot better things going for her than Dana did. I'm not going to get too much into detail. This girl can't really articulate anything, can she? <laughs> Bless her heart. She's not... What do you love the most about your partner? What makes this one different from all the rest? She's a really good person. Good lord. It's so banal. Put, Somebody put some, said one's the next video. Put some words it will in be your sentences. Sometime this week. Why doesn't Amber learn to drive? I really don't see how she could drive. She can't Physically, fit. I don't. I don't know anything about Eric or Ricky. Are you and Amber Lynn working together by making videos? No. Amberlynn did not know I was about to do that. She didn't know until probably I posted the video. I could give a crap less if she approves of these videos. Or I really don't care. <laughs> Good for you, The last Destin. time I saw Amberlynn in person was like around her and Becky's birthday when they were still together. Y'all haven't seen Amberlynn since she was still with Becky. I do speak to Becky. I will <laughs> do my darndest to see if she will let me call her next time. Some of the stuff I am going to address in another video, y'all. I mean, maybe Becky would do a live with me, but, uh, you know, I kind of doubt it. She doesn't have an opinion Please, on April Lynn. Becky, how much she call her I don't think she would answer if I tried to call her, y'all. Leave Becky alone. I'm not alone. calling her. Because <laughs> I'm sure she's watching this right now and knows. She's deaf watching. She probably is. There's a thousand some odd people on here. She's oh, I bet she's watching. Out. No, I never corrected Amberlynn's grammar. She had a thousand people at her live. Damn. Start some crap with her. Best I've done is 500. Mommy issues. I do not know. There will be a new video. Oh, look, we're at five. Within the next couple of days, honestly. <laughs> was the seatbelt? I was like, wow, remember that one day when I had 500 and then I looked over? We got a 496 right now. Holy mackerel. That's impressive, you guys. There's like a whole bunch of you in here. I felt like it was just me and the couple of you. Uh -oh. One of your old car broke. No, it was not broke. It's time for us to go now. Okay, bye guys. <laughs>
There's malarkey meter and their version of Look who comes up right away, Mr. Snowflake. Easy, you did miss the reaction to the Reddit stuff. It's at the very beginning of the video. Um, would you like to watch just a little bit of Snowflake's new one? I know he wouldn't mind. But it's quite long, so I don't want to watch the whole thing. Um, maybe we can we can do the last uh, ten minutes. Oh, what were we going to do? Or a Q and A? Remember, we had that Q and A thing. You want to watch Snowflake? Let's watch a little Snowflake. He won't mind. Just the last. It'll be like a teaser. We'll watch the last 10 minutes of his video, so you'll still have to go to his channel, go to Under the Hood and subscribe, and then go to that video and watch it, and then click like and click the bell for the notifications for Under the Hood. Okay? And we'll leave it this way, because he's so handsome. He gets the, the big screen. So we'll go to 15 minutes, and we'll watch the last uh, 10 minutes. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Okay? It's all right. It's all right. Look at his little face. How cute is that face? All right, last 10 minutes of Mr. Snowflake. This one just came out today. Now, I wouldn't normally do this, but I do speak to him in DM, and he has told me that it's okay. He wants me to use his stuff. He never said I had to wait. And he would love and uh, that we're doing this. Thank you, Ella, for dropping the link. If you see in the chat, Ella has dropped the link to the Under the Hood channel, which is Mr. Snowflake's second channel, where he does all of this stuff. So let's look at this adorable snowflake. Why do you spend all the money you receive as charity on crappy stuff? You should value other people's hard-earned money. That's a good point. I thought that. Uh, which you take sitting, which you take sitting on your ass all day, don't you think? On crappy stuff, hey, jewelry is a legitimate hobby. On crappy stuff, everyone has their own opinion of crap. The money I have been spending lately has been my money. So please learn your Sorry. facts before you assume ignoriously. That's such a um, school kid thing to say. Get your facts right. Learn your facts. <laughs> So I heard that when I was at school, and then when I went to work in the school when I was older, they were still saying the kids were still like, get your facts right. Uh, <laughs> they probably will say that forever. Your virginity. Was it a guy or girl? Do you regret it? 18. Girl? No. 18. Casey? Casey. Casey. Yeah. Do you own a... What's funny to call that? Oh, this isn't the newest one. Tall? Vibrator. No, and I never will. I don't think anyone's ever owned a vibrator. Uh, but if you're trying to say vibrator, uh, she says, no, and I never will. I have to do, I'm sorry. Can we just go back for a couple of minutes? Because I kind of like the way he says that word. Let's just listen one more time. Vibrator. No, and I never will. I don't think anyone's ever owned a vibrator. Uh, but if you're trying to say vibrator, uh, she says, no, and I never He says will. it ever so proper. Says, no, you <laughs> You're becoming one of those people that doesn't like their subscriber. T-H-E-I-R. Josh, I'm not a professional Sorry, YouTuber. I'm not. I'm an amateur YouTuber. Does Giraffe start with a J? What? I love my subscribers. You have no idea how much I appreciate them. You couldn't give Harvey. two fat fucks about yes. subscribers. Because you're still lying down now. Javi, thank you very much. That will be going on our Discord soundboard. Thank you very much. I've never had 5,000 calories in one sitting. If I see anything in here that's more than 5,000 calories, I'm, I'm coming for you. Yeah. I was going to mime it there. I won't. But I, I've got the... <laughs> no, don't mime that. What makes you think or feel like Crystal's mom doesn't like you because you don't work? I never said Crystal's mom doesn't like me. I just, I'm sure she... Do you ever felt like Crystal Mom doesn't like you because you don't work? I do. I just am sure she'd appreciate it once I got the job. Andy, you can't the buses. You can't get the bus because there's no buses around here. 
and you need to leave weird. The crystal needs to let me dry. And then Jupiter needs to be like, we're sat there. How are you doing? Are you back on track? Not quite. Please, nope. no judgment though. She wasn't on track then. You guys. were still so sick for all the bad you did to those poor hearts you bullied. Uh, you bullied. Uh, I hope you feel what they felt. And much more, I hate bullies. My sister committed... Ah, <laughs> we both My make... My sister committed... <laughs> it's the same sound. At the same time. Because of people like you, how can you ever forgive yourself? And I'm That's no fun. I was 12 when I was a bully. I never bullied anyone. I, I never bullied anyone since. So it was more... So it was more so me being immature. No. You said... Uh, do you think that screaming, I don't care if the narc alert dies of a heart attack and that you don't have a sympathy bone and that I deserve that? Do you think that's bullying a little, maybe just a little bit? Uh, you broke it, a little girl's glasses and you bullied younger kids because you just didn't care. I mean, the younger kid stuff is way worse, but I'm just saying I don't think she stopped that behavior. That's all I'm trying to say. That was 11 years ago. All children become a little rude when given the chance. You broke? Oh, whatever. No. Fine. All children are rude given the chance. Guys, were you rude children? Were you all a bunch of asshole children in the chat? You know, probably one or two of you were. <laughs> but most of us were not, right? I don't know. I grew up with older parents. I was in the seen but not heard. That children are, you know, speak when spoken to. I was not a rude child. I'm a, you know, I'm a rude adult. No one is perfect. You were bullied. I cultivated you, you, this you myself. You said you bullied little kids. Uh, when I turned 13, I changed automatically. Uh, what is this? Kevin and... No. <laughs> Denver was... Yeah, I was. Oh, Harry Enfield. Yeah, Some of us were. I'm 13! Happy, Happy birthday, birthday, Kevin. Go! He's, He's become, become a teenager. <laughs> Kevin, somebody will know. The English ones will know. When I turned 13, I checked automatically without having to think about it. Because I am not a bully. You just said you were you bully. <laughs> I'm the victim. Oh. I should have made these angry eyebrows, shouldn't I? Yes. I'm the victim. I brought your glasses. I'm the victim. Bully little kids. I'm Do you love the thought of Mr. Snowflake standing standing alone in his bathroom, putting on his <laughs> He's my makeup to sit down and do an Berlin read reaction video like that. That whole scene is really funny to me. I don't know. It cracks me right up. I'm the victim. Ah, oh, man. <laughs> my whole life I've been bullied beyond belief. You'd be surprised. You just said, oh, fine. 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 Keeping it light. <laughs> uh, Trying. Yeah, just because you've been bullied, does the amount of bullies at um the school i worked at was ridiculous because uh, nobody watches from there so i'll just say teachers are crap when it comes to bullying not all of them there was one no no there was one guy who was really good and there was one lady who was ah brilliant the rest sucked um the, the rest were crap at dealing with bullying it was just ridiculous uh yeah just because you've been bullied doesn't mean you should uh bully others you are not the victim i know uh, you not josh the victim if you do right? others you're a big bully man. most people wake up on their 13th birthday if you're going to be any kind of trouble usually as a teenager that's a good time for it to start <laughs> a lot of people tend to have some issues around that age transitional period in life amber however just woke up and became a brand new girl Never did anything wrong ever again. That's when St. Amber was born, when she was 13. Some people go to, um, what, what's it called? First Holy Communion? No, Confirmation. Amber just was just became a new girl, a really good, angelic, pure, good, kind person when she turned 13. April, A Agni, thank you for the super chat. Agni says, People boasting on how they've changed usually lie. Yeah, it's like when people tell you how happy they are all the time. Oh my God, I'm so happy, I'm so happy, I'm so happy, I'm so happy. They're probably not that happy. Bullying you got back, it's karma. 
Down there. I'm tired of waiting for people to pay for their crimes. I'm tired of waiting for people to pay for their crimes. I'm here to make sure they do. <laughs> I'm here to make sure they do. They still got it. That's good. Still got it. Never mind. That's good. Like I said, I bullied someone twice. No, that's not what you said. When I was 10 and 12. That's not what you said. That's just immaturity. You said you bullied little kids and you brought the girl <laughs> yeah. girl That's just immaturity. It wasn't even and was there also not? Extreme. Does she also not tell that story about being in high school, and her group of friends got into a fist fight with another group of friends? But of course, she was the innocent angel on the side. But isn't that a little older than when she was? That that's when she was after older than thirteen, right? I don't know if I was a little, if my little girl came home from school and she said this older kid smashed uh, snapped my glasses. <laughs> I'd say that was extreme. Yeah. Oh, uh, and then I'd break an No, I would. No, you'd want to, though. <laughs> I realize I'm not going to come off threatening dressed as Imagine Daddy Snowflake coming to your defense. Oi, ay, ay. Amber wouldn't stand a chance. Which I'm grateful for. Uh Ella says the narc alert. I didn't have to say that. I don't know why I said that. Ella says. She also punched a girl for having sex with her brother and another guy in one night when she was a teen. Didn't change. Uh, for because what? Which I'm grateful for because I'm not that kind of person. You just said you were. Um, calling someone stupid for no reason at the age of twelve isn't something that deserves a karma reaction. Karma would stamp on your head now. <laughs> you did that on. Called <laughs> someone stupid for no reason at the age of twelve. That's nobody, not what you did. You bullied younger kids. And nobody called you stupid. Let me see. Because you've been bullied doesn't mean you should bully. You're not a victim. If you're doing it to others, you're a big bully and deserve the bullying you got back. It's karma. Nobody called you stupid. In that comment, nobody called her stupid. Fine. So please, before you assume and think the worst of someone, ask me about it first. But we did, and you said you broke a girl's glasses and you used to bully little kids. God, she backtracks quick, doesn't she? Yeah, in the space of the one time sentence. She gets back on track. There's a joke there somewhere. Shut up, big fat bully. Did I write that? <laughs> and you don't think you're bullying me right now? Tough. You shouldn't be a bell end. Or cunt. Use any insult you want. <laughs> How ironic. Are you a hypocrite or what? I feel like that was for me. You know, the runt word. We were talking and I said to him, I wanted to send you some of my merch because he started using the C word in reference to Amber. And of course, as you know, I've got the What a Runt A merchandise available on Redbubble. And uh, he was like, wait, you called her the C word too? And I was like, yeah, yeah. And he's like, great minds think like... <laughs> You know, bellend. I, I, I don't know. I think the C word has more impact than bellend. Bellend is kind of like fun. Like a bellend. Hence the neck. <laughs> but God, she's awful. Isn't she? Michael Williams likes a nice bellend. I think she's the victim. Broke the glasses. I'm the victim. Anyway, you don't have to tell me what it is. I know what it is. People stop asking about bullying. Uh, wow, she bullied someone when she was a child. Yes, bullying is wrong, but there is a difference. I know what it is. They're kind of adorable sometimes. C, the C word, hits a lot harder than bellend, which sounds like an adorable penile cartoon character. But there is a difference between child bullying, <laughs> between the child bullying and the teenage or adult. Did you write this, Amber? The bullying, the bullying, maybe she did write it, the bullying, either her or Dame and White, or Dame on Blonde, the bullying that goes on these days is horrible compared to how it used to be. Is this actually on? She doesn't deserve for you to be cruel for something she did. Ella says Redbubble's having a 20% off sale. Thank you for letting me know, Ella. I'm going to go buy myself a t-shirt because <laughs> I only buy stuff when it's on sale for 20% off because it's pretty reasonable then. Years ago. That's definitely Amber. I don't know what to buy That's today. a proper Amber line, that. 
Amber Lai. Amber Lynn. That's a proper Amber Lai. It was years ago. Is that Amber? I'm convinced that's Amber. Thank you, anonymous stranger. Of course it's Amber that wrote that. that. I would never bully someone now. I mean, I would not even consider what I did when I was 12 to be bullying anyway. You said you bullied kids. You said it. I didn't. This isn't me catching you out. This is you. What is something you've done that you're not exactly proud of? Hmm. Bullied people. <laughs> there you go. Oh, man. You just get worse every episode of these we do. <laughs> Poor I'm Mr. Snowflake. Oh, God, it hurts. It hurts my brain. I will just... We're going to have to... Uh, fundraise some money to send him to a nice spa for a couple days in the countryside <laughs> to recover when he's done this series. Just leave it with what you said because you worded it perfectly. All she did, it's you. It was you were, uh, yeah, she wrote that question for sure. I think it is, but I know. Of course she wrote that. Wow. She bullied someone when she was just a child. Yes, bullying is wrong, but there's a difference between child bullying and a teenager or adult. The bullying that goes on these days is horrible compared to how it used to be. She doesn't deserve you to be cruel for something she did years ago. Of course, that was Amber. If you were not with Crystal, where do you think you would be and what would you be doing? I'd be sponging off somebody else <laughs> or bullying kids. Oh, God, I can't make bully. Oh, sorry. I would be in Arizona still in such a horrible... Oh, an unhealthy relationship. I think we know he's mentioned before that school. he he's mentioned before that he has a little girl. I'm not sure the age, but um, I think with this whole bullying thing, he keeps thinking about how he would feel if his child was the victim of an Amber Lynn Reed. That's what I keep seeing in his eyes. I'm probably searching for a child. It hits happens. close to home, you know. I would be close to 500 pounds easy, but you get there, you get well past because he's got a little to look for bad after. Back, bad foot out of breath moment you get. Let's just go. When will you, I'm good, right, sorry, I'll keep it light, sorry. Yeah, you can't keep it light, that's it. Um. So there you go, a little bit of snowflake. And Anna says, so she's minimizing the bullying she and others did before because it's worse now? No, she's minimizing the bullying that she and others did before because she's so good now. And you, it's different for her. You don't understand bullying the way she does. And clearly when somebody else does it, it's way worse. When she does it, there's reasons for it that are justified. And it was okay because she was young and she grew up in foster care and she was angry. You know... Look at the little croissant cat. Look at that little croissant cat. Little, little. Hi, little face man. Are you sleepy faced? Are you very sleepy faced man? Um, the Bobo loaf. He's a loaf of Bobo. Bobo loaf. Um, I'm going to have dinner uh, with Joan tonight on the roof. We've got a rooftop garden on the building. And I thought they made it no pets, but I noticed the other day that the sign actually says no dogs, specifically. So I think little, little croissant man might have to come up on the roof with me once in a while. Maybe we can have some adventures. I'm so excited to let him be able to go outside on the deck. Like it's a big roof garden. But it's absolutely impossible for him to get out, out of there anywhere. It's like solid. I would be so excited. We have to get him ready to go to live in Costa Rica one day. Oh, big yawn from the big man tells me that it must be time. Because it's we're nine minutes past 420. And you know, that doesn't wash. <laughs> Vanessa says, croissants are not pets. Look at him, though. Look at him, though. I would get up and fix the camera, but I'm not going to. Look, he's going back to sleep now. Okay, bye, Riri. Say goodbye, Riri. Do you want to say goodbye? We're going to wrap it up now. I got to make some pork chops for dinner. Tonight, we're having pork chops and baked potatoes and sweet potato for me and asparagus. And I think I'll make some bechamel for the asparagus. 
So we're going to go have dinner. I want to thank you so much for joining me, looking at the Reddit, looking at Mr. Snowflake, looking at something else. Oh, Destiny. Oh, we covered a whole bunch of stuff. We were very efficient today. Very efficient. We will be doing something in the Reddit. In the Reddit. No, Mark, don't go to Reddit. We'll do something in Discord tonight. I don't know what. I know asparagus does make your pee smell. Um, Rio will be in Costa Rica one day, Denver. I keep promising him he can chase a gecko. Gotta, gotta do it. Not applesauce with the pork chops tonight where it's going to be barbecued. And I'm going to do the bechamel instead. <laughs> Sweet potatoes, not real potatoes for me. Maybe job job, Ella. Maybe job. But it won't start. Whatever we're doing in Discord won't start till 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I want to thank you guys for joining me. Go subscribe and check out Snowflake's second channel, Under the Hood. And also, although we didn't mention him and we have hardly objectified him today at all, don't forget about the handsome. No, not handsome. He wears a helmet because he's hideous. Don't forget about the charming and charismatic Crusader Actual, who has now started a gaming channel. So go check that out if you're into gaming. He's fun. I would watch it. I don't even like gaming. So go throw him a sub and a click and a like and all the YouTube things. And until I'm going to take tomorrow off, I'll see you guys on Friday for some kind of premiere. And until we meet again, you know the routine. Be kind. And hasta luego.